Beginning of day three here at Dunwich in Suffolk, and the great news is Mary Ann has worked her magic. She's managed to persuade the farmer to let us put a trench in in his field just beyond where Geophys are now, where we're hoping to find an enormous medieval church, which it's theorised could be there. Look, this is what it's supposed to look like. Well, early this morning, John sneaked out and did a bit of Geophys in the corner, and look, this is what he found. See that black? Is that a wall or is it not? We've set out to investigate the few medieval fragments that remain in this fast disappearing village, with the hope that we can recreate what the town was like in medieval times. One fragment we hoped to find was the lost Maison Dieu hospital, which we thought was located in the beach car park. But as Phil pointed out in the pub last night, the trenches we've dug down there are just full of sand. The finds from the car park suggested some medieval buildings, but unfortunately, there was no sign of the hospital. But that means Phil can now turn his attention to finding the church up here at the other remaining medieval fragment, the Clifftop Friary. John, you've got that trench marked out. And the pressure's on. We've only got today left to prove or disprove the friary layout. Over to you, Phil. Well, that's not very impressive. Believe <laughs> me, you against one of me. You keep it sharp. That's what you've got to do, keep it sharp. Though it doesn't appear that Phil's making the quick start to the trench he'd been hoping for. Get on with it, guys. There's less than a day left. We're also trying to prove that Dunwich was a flourishing pre-medieval town, as Mick thinks it was. We're looking for Anglo-Saxon evidence in the town ditch trench, where the remainder of our efforts now focused. And it looks like they're heading for the centre of the keep, earth. We're going to keep taking them as we go down, because you never know, it might just be the, you know, might be the last chance we get. But time's running out. Will we ever reach the bottom? And typically, this being an English summer, the heavens open on us. Even Phil's had to don his waterproofs, but it takes more than a summer shower to send him scurrying for cover. Phil, this is the trench where we were looking for evidence of the big church. Have we found that evidence I yet? think we have, Tony. I think we're... According to the geophysics, we're right in the southwest corner of the main building. And what we believe at the moment is that we've got the west wall, this white spread coming along here, turning around the corner and then going back in that direction towards the sea. If that is a wall, and I know it's early days yet, it's a zonking great thing, isn't it? It is, it is a massive wall foundation for a massive building. Any finds yet? Well, come and have a look at our star find. Look, we've got our first piece of carved stonework. And you'll see here where we've got a fresh break. It's a very white stone. You can see here we've got part of a carving sort of edge there, a scallop in there, and then a bit of a slot, and it's scalloped again on that side. I haven't got the foggiest idea what it is, so we'll have to work around it and, and get it out. Phil's trench appears to be proving that John's geophys results are on the money. Armed with this vital piece of evidence, we should now be able to make a good judgment as to the layout of the rest of the church. But we'd need to excavate much more to decisively prove the full plan of the entire friary. And unfortunately, that's something we don't have time for. And it's sites like these that suffer most when there's such limited time. I always tend to think of our national heritage as being things like palaces and castles and the kind of stuff which will remain there forever and a day provided we look after it properly. But that's certainly not the case here, is it? Well, no, unfortunately not. I mean, this is very much a scheduled monument at risk. And part of this site here is already going over the cliff. Presumably this must be the exception rather than the rule. Well, in fact, not. I mean, we've done a survey of about 20,000 sites and one in six scheduled monuments are at risk in the country. So now we've done the evaluation, what kind of strategies can you use? Well, English Heritage isn't a coast protection agency, but in fact, uh, we do have to work with the local communities here to come up with some form of further investigations or analysis uh, before the site's lost forever. Okay. <laughs>